What's good everybody? Welcome back to Ride Razor. If you guys haven't already seen the video where Steve built up a Razor snow scooter, we're here, we're finally at the mountain, we're gonna be putting the snow scoot to the test and finally seeing just how much fun it's gonna be on the mountain. I brought some friends, you guys might know them. I'm Jack. Hello. I'm Mia. I'm Zach. I haven't been here before, but <laughs> we're here. And everybody else here has a lot of uh, experience on the snow, except for me. So, I'll do all the talking, you guys do all the riding. <laughs> there are a couple of things that we added to the snow scooter, and one of those things is the deck pins, just because grip tape does not cut it when you're on snow. And the last thing that we changed is we just swapped out the uh, bolt that's right here for this one that has a nut on it, just so we could really, really tighten it down and uh, just ensure nothing else comes loose. And we added a leash. Yeah, we added this leash. For those of you guys who don't know, at least here in California, you have to have a leash if you're not riding snowboard or skis. It's just a beautiful day. Look at the mountain. We're gonna go out there and have some fun. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah. It was pretty good, honestly. It's actually a lot, it's pretty light. Handles well, it whips well. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I started snowboarding, oh wow, when did I start snowboarding? I started snowboarding probably like, I was like 14. Lived in Michigan, I got really into it, and then my grandpa bought me a setup, and then ever since then, I lived by a local hill, and I got like a little sponsorship through school. I just got to go for free, and then it kind of just like went from there. All right, so we made it to the uh, top of the bunny hill. We're gonna be starting small, and then making our way up to the actual mountain here, and uh, Jack's actually gonna be the first one to uh, actually give the Razor snow scooter a go down the mountain. You can really, really see the amount of quality and hard work that went in by uh, Steve and Jack when it came to building up the uh, actual snowboard portion of the scooter. So shout out to them, they actually killed it. Hey, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, this thing is absolutely sweet. Um, I love the tail on it. You got the little fish tail. You got the two-piece board. Um, it slides really well, so. We're gonna try it out, see if we can control it. I think you guys have an we're gonna, we're gonna see if snowboarding translates to this bad boy, you know what I'm saying? All I gotta say is wow. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but towards the end of the run, I actually did start to get the hang of it. It's tough to get into an edge, but I think with a little bit of practice, we'll really get the feel for it. We could probably do some pretty cool stuff on this thing. <laughs> First actual land of the tail whip goes to Mia. Who would have thought? I did, I knew. <laughs> it was actually really fun. Alright, Zach, you got it. We believe in you. Yeah, Zach. Oh, oh. Woo! Not work out as I expected. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie though. Ten out of ten when it comes down to how much fun it is. Oh, oh I loved it. <laughs> That's so cool, honestly. <laughs> You start to get a feel for a fur and like carving is just so much fun once you like get you need you do need speed to get the carves down but once you get and catch edges like that oh this thing is incredible this is yours right yeah oh i'm confident <laughs> who do you think you're talking to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
is so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. You get speed and like it's actually like pretty controllable. Yeah. It feels so nice. Alrighty guys, well there you have it. We have successfully tested out the snow scoot and it is a blast. Jack started out on the flat ground, everybody got to attempt some tricks and then Zach here just went crazy. Once again, Steve and Jack just killed it when it came down to the construction and the build quality of modifying the snowboard to actually work on a scooter. So shout out to them. Fingers crossed we'll be filming some more videos with some other things that they can modify for us. It was a major success and just, just a ton of fun, man, honestly. Um, I didn't really know what to expect when I saw this thing for the first time, but I can genuinely say this thing is so much fun. Kind of tough to get the, get the hang of. It's hard to get into the edges. But once you do get used to it a little bit, it's just, it's an absolute blast. And as you can see towards the end there, Zachary is getting super comfortable on it. So I would give this a solid 10 out of 10. This was so much fun. So when you're at the top of the mountain, it's pretty, it's pretty intimidating to go down on the snow scoot. But once you get the hang of it, it's super fun. I don't know. I, uh, I've just had a lot of experience with snow. I felt like it wouldn't be too bad. It was a little weird at first. Going slow, it's actually hard. If you go faster, it works so much better. You can actually like start to like curve it and turn and everything. We made it through. It's fun. I loved it. I'm gonna go ride it some more. Alrighty, well make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.